Okay, so um, we're going to look at some graphs of logarithmic functions. So here's a function, an exponential function, and we've graphed that one before. So let's make a quick table of values here. Um, and we said, oh, we could put in like negative 1 and 0 and 1 and 2 and 3. Uh, the base is 2, so it's fairly small. Um, and we get 1 half and 1 and 2, and 4, and 8. And then we could graph those points. And we get an exponential curve going something like that. And we have that asymptote at the x-axis. OK, well, this g of x, this, I'm sorry, this is f of x. g of x is going to be the inverse. So if I made a new table of values from what we know about inverses, I can switch their x and y. So now I have 1 half here and negative 1. Zero, whoops, I didn't switch it. <laughs> 1, 1 and 0, 2 and 1, 4 and 2, and 8 and 3. We're just switching the um, ordered pairs around, OK? So we graphed the exponential function, but the logarithm function, and we can say this because the base is the same, okay? So we can say they're inverses of each other, and we get this, um, these uh, table of values over here for g of x. Okay, so let me go ahead and graph those. So if I went over a half, but down one, and well, it's off a little bit, and then I went over one, zero, and then two, one, and then 4, 2, and then 8, 3, and I get this function going off like that. And it does have an asymptote, the y-axis there. Okay, now does that um, reflect about the diagonal? And the answer is yes. Okay, so it's following those properties. We didn't talk about these inverses, um, these functions, but an exponential function, that is a one-to-one -one function, okay? So we, it can have an inverse, right? Okay, so I didn't talk about that before, but I should have. All right, so that's cool. That's what they look like. So we're looking at um, a logarithmic function that's going to look something like that red curve there for g of x. Okay, now you might remember when the base is greater than zero but less than one. So when it's like one half, something different happens. So you might remember this, but if you don't, I'll go over it because we just probably did it in 4.1. Um, so let's say we have, oh, I didn't, I didn't write a function, f of x equals one half to the um, exponent. And remember we said, oh, that's like it's 2 to the negative x, you know, type thing. But if we put in like um, negative 3 and negative 2 and negative 1 and 0 and 1, we're going to get these things to happen. Now, obviously when we put in 1, you're going to get 1 half. Obviously when you put in 0, you're going to get 1. So we're plugging in numbers for the exponent. But now what happens when we have 1 half to the negative first power? Well, that's going to reciprocal it, so you get 2 to the first, or just 2. And then with a negative 2, you're going to get the 4, and with a negative 3, you're going to get the 8. Now, how do those graph? Well, negative 3, 8 is going to be up here. Negative 2, 4. Uh, 2, 4. And then we're going to have negative 1, 2, 0, 1, and 1, 1 half. And we get it going like this. It reflects about the y-axis, right? OK, so that's what happens for the function f of x. Well, what if we wanted to do the logarithm, the inverse? OK, so let's say we have g of x equaling log, and the base is 1 half of x. Well, then we would just switch all of those ordered pairs. So we'd have x, g of x. And then we'd have the 8, negative 3. We'd have the um, 4, negative 2, 2, negative 1, 1, 0, and then 1 half, 1 half, 1. And then how does that graph? All right. So we go out to 8, and we go down 3, 
we go out 4, 2, 4, down 2, 2, negative 1, um, 1 is 0, right in there, and then 1 half, 1, so right there, and it's going like this. Okay, and then the question is, does it reflect about the diagonal? And the answer is, it should it should look like it. I my red line's a little long there, approaching the y-axis. But you could extend the the black line. You could extend this to make it match a little bit better. But um, yeah, if you fold it, the red lines or red points are going to line up with the black points. Okay, so it just looks different though than the exponential curve when the base is greater than one. Okay. Is that, yep, that's it for that video.